Hello! Today I'm going to talk about how to start a niche blog online. Welcome to my channel Online Verb. I encourage you to take a few minutes and look around. I talk about lots of different ways how you can make money online. Now these are all things that I'm doing myself. So I'm not just showing you theoretical things, but things I'm doing myself. I do lots of reviews for different products and services. And again, especially the things that I use. So hopefully these are things that will help you. But today what I'm talking about is how to start a niche blog online. So just a little bit of background. I have been working online since 2012, so 10 years, and I've tried pretty much everything um, about how to make money online. I started with actually websites and blogging, so I've kind of come full circle in that way. I've kind of done YouTube on and off. I've done social media strategies, launch jacking, email marketing, affiliate marketing, e-commerce, Amazon, FBA, uh, you name it, I've probably tried it. And so <clears throat> one thing that I've learned is there is no way to get rich quick, okay? It doesn't exist unless you go out and play the lottery and then your odds are not very good. And so I've made money different in different ways. Uh, freelancing was actually probably the most successful I was, but um, that took a lot of effort and you're you know trading time for money and so I've come back to wanting to do things that can earn more of a passive income it will take work on my side but the beauty is you do the work one time and then you can reap the rewards going forward and so for me that is doing my YouTube channel and then also getting a few niche blogs set up and so um, when I started blogging 10 years ago, I didn't like writing. I still don't like writing. I'm not very good at it. It doesn't come natural to me. And so that was always my biggest hurdle. So if you keep watching this video, I will explain to you how to overcome that um, with a really great um, software that will help you. But I want to kind of document a little bit about what I've been doing. So um, my my niche, it's in it's in basically the dog niche, okay? so. Um, that is the niche of the site. I'm not going to reveal the site itself because uh, unfortunately sometimes people like to um, uh, try to damage your site. <laughs> so I'm not going to reveal the actual site, but I'm going to show you some statistics about it, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, I started this on October 23rd of 2022, and as of now I have 67 posts on the site. So my goal was to make sure I tried to add at least one, if not two posts per day, because I really want to try to build up momentum quickly. And so uh, today is June 3rd, or I'm sorry, July 3rd. So, you know, we're just over, we're about 70 days in, okay? So I'm at 67 posts, and my blog has been online for about 70 days. So I'm not quite at one post per day, um, but I'm on track more or less for where I want to be. And it's only been online again 70 days, so I don't have a lot of expectations. And that's, I guess, let me just take a minute and talk about that. When you're doing these things that are going to um, take some time to build up, whether that's a social media venue, or in my case, YouTube channel and a blog, it's going to take time to get this some traction. Okay, But once they get some traction, they will start to exponentially grow and I'm starting to see a little bit of that now only after 70 days and to be honest with a blog it, it's not unusual to take up to six months or so to really see some nice results that's I've been watching other U YouTube channels where they talk about their blogs and that seems to be a pretty consistent theme it seems like uh, Google takes several months to kind of you know figure out if you're serious if you're going to be committed uh, if your content's good and so it's trying to figure all that out. So that's the key with being successful. So that's why I say this is not get rich quick, but if you're looking to build something and you're willing to put some time and effort into something that then can be sustainable, uh, cause my goal is to have my YouTube channel and my blog making several thousands of dollars a month, you know, five to $10,000 a month, which is very realistic, but it is gonna take probably six months to a year to get to that point. Um, and they both are starting to get there, but it's just going to take some more time and effort. So please keep that in mind. So let's uh, see where we're at. Let me jump into, I'm going to go into Bing. Here's my Bing account. And it's funny because every every day, or you know, every time I add a, a new post, I submit the blog post URL to um, Bing. And I also submit it to Google Search Console because I want my 
blog posts to get crawled. I want them to get indexed. Okay. And really, if you look at, you know, when I was submitting things to Bing, like I was not getting anything. <laughs> you can see, you know, th this is going back to April 28th. Okay. So just five days after I started and you can see zero all the way, no clicks, no impressions, really not until just recently. Okay. June 23rd. So about 10 days ago, I started getting some traction from Bing. I've gotten 14 total impressions. So the blue are impressions. So four impressions this day, uh, three impressions that day, five impressions uh, a couple days ago, and a few clicks. Okay. So two clicks, 14 impressions. And you can see I've got 23 pages indexed, 117 with some kind of crawl error. So I may have to restart resubmitting some of these. But you can see on Bing, you actually get a really nice result in that I'm averaging the third position. So when someone searches for a keyword, my site ends up in the third position, which is actually pretty good for a blog that's only 70 days old. And if we scroll down, you can see, uh, you know, the keywords, the average position, you know, dental chews for dogs, dental chews for senior dogs. So these dental chew posts for some reason, uh, Bing likes them. You can see how many times it's shown up in the search results, the impressions, how many clicks, the click through rate. But look at this, the average position. So these are, you know, averaging in the top, you know, three, four uh, positions on Bing, which is pretty cool. I never really thought about Bing much as a traffic source, but as you can tell, um, I'm actually doing really well on Bing compared to, let's go over to Google Search Console. And here you can see, now this is over the past uh, three months. You know, the website just went online April 23rd. So this is including, you know, um, lots of impressions, over 4,000 impressions. And what I find interesting is you can see the impressions were pretty consistent. And then at the end of May, um, Google did um, a revamp of their algorithm, which they do usually once or twice a year. And you can see, you know, my impressions really dropped off, right? I was doing fairly steady and then they just kind of dropped and stayed low and then an uptick. And then again, they kind of dropped a little bit, but they've been much more steady again. And so tons of impressions because Google is pretty much indexing all my pages. So every time I submit a post to Google, they do index it. So that's the good thing. But you can see my average position on Google is the 83rd position, which means essentially page eight. So people would need to scroll through eight pages of results for a keyword before they would see mine. And that's quite different than Bing, right? On Bing, I'm averaging the third position. I only have 23, you know, 67 posts. So not obviously I got a lot of them that I need to resubmit for indexing, but only 23 index. And yet I'm averaging the third position, obviously a lot fewer impressions, you know, Google 4,000 impressions, but unfortunately it's, it says no clicks, but we're going to go into my analytics in a second. Obviously people are clicking through because um, you, I'm getting traffic, right? Um, but I'm being only 14 impressions and two clicks. So if we do go into my Google analytics, uh, what you'll see here, <clears throat> You know, what I look, I, what I like to look at are what, you know, page views, right? Because eventually I want to try and get, uh, this site monetized for ads, probably from Ezoic. That's probably the one I'll try to start with. And they want to see how many page views that you have. And so you can see, you know, this is over the last 28 days. So, you know, not a lot, about five or six page views per day, pretty steady. And then it dropped off. I think, uh, this might have been after the algorithm update. And then boom, it just really took off in the past few days. You know, it jumped up and then really jumped up. Whereas um, yesterday I had 15 page views. Again, not a lot, but it's only, you know, just a little over two month old site. And so obviously, even though Google Search Console says I'm not getting any clicks, I am because I am getting page views. And I'm not at, doing anything else with this blog. There's no other traffic. I don't have any kind of social media set up. I don't have, there's no other way I'm getting traffic to this blog other than just strictly organic search traffic, people searching for a keyword, and then they uh, click through and come to the site. Eventually, I, I know I need to probably get some social media set up. I need to get some backlinks. I don't have any of that right now. Right now, I'm just strictly adding content. And I know it's working because right now, the only way I'm 
you know, monetizing this blog is through Amazon, okay? And so you can, here in my Amazon account, you can see I've made a, do a total of a dollar and 48 cents. <laughs> so obviously not a ton of commission, pretty low, but it's encouraging because I know it's working. And so if we look down here at the dates, you know, the red are the clicks. So I'm getting, you know, a few clicks through. And then the yellows and the green are, you know, the sales. Okay, so here I had one ordered item. And then you can see the, you know, the dollar amount is the, is the green. And so basically two sales of $1.48. And I know they're coming from my blog. So eight clicks, two ordered items, two shipped items, a conversion of 25%. Now, a total of $49 of items were ordered, and obviously you only make 1% or 2%, so that's $1.48. And obviously it came from my dog blog, because these are chews for large dogs, dental treats for dogs. And so I have to think that traffic is coming from Bing, right? <laughs> um, because everything that's right now, the keywords that are ranking on Bing are the dental chews articles. And that's what has sold on Amazon is the dental chews uh, products. So, you know, to me, it's just validation that what I'm doing is working. It's obviously, you know, not as fast as I'd like. But to me, this is a long term strategy. Uh, this blog, as well as a few other niche blogs, I probably will start once I kind of get a, in a rhythm with this one. And uh, this is going to pay off, especially once I get more page views, more more pages indexed, ranking, more traffic, then I'll be able to put ads on the site. And that, again, will just be some really great passive income because I'm, I'm doing the article one time. It goes up and then, you know, I optimize the article and I optimize my site for speed. And so I'm getting traffic and I'm not sure why it took Bing so long, <laughs> you know, to index my pages, but it did. You know, basically nothing happened until this past week. Um, and then all of a sudden, boom, they're getting shown in Bing and I'm getting uh, impressions really good because I'm in the third position, some click throughs and that those have to account for these Amazon sales, I, I believe. It's possible they're coming from uh, Google, you know, because I'm getting you know a fair number of page views here as well. Um, but when I look at the page views, they're not the dental chews. So I think this traffic right now is coming from Bing. And I believe it'll increase uh, from Google as well. But it's just nice to see, hey, this is working. All this effort I put in to get the articles created, get them uploaded, get the site optimized, it actually is paying off. So let me just finish by saying, you know, when I 10 years ago, <laughs> you know, I started blogging because that was the thing to do at the time. Um, that's one of the you know, ways to make money online, and it's still a great way to buy money online. And if I had kept with it over these past 10 years, I wouldn't have to be starting from scratch now, but here I am. I should have learned my mistake. Maybe you can learn from my mistake. And um, hopefully I'm going to be able to be successful this time around, which I think I will, because I'm definitely much more committed this time, because um, I see this as a long-term uh, strategy for passive income. Now, again, I, just, I do want to define passive income is not just where you sit back and money just rolls in because you do nothing. No. Passive to me is you do something one time. You make a YouTube video. You make a Facebook post. You put up a blog article. And then income is generated from that activity, that YouTube video, that blog post, that social media post, whatever it was. You did it that one time. So I equate that with like writing a book. You write a book, you write the book one time, and the book sells, and if it does well, it continues to sell over time, and you do well. Same thing with like a song. I don't have those abilities, I can't write books or sing. So, but for the average person, having a passive recurring income from YouTube or a blog is really a great way uh, to do that online. And so, let me jump to how am I doing this? Everything that I am doing right now with my blog is AI generated content from Article Forge. Now I'll leave a link in the box below for Article Forge. You may say, oh, the pricing, you know, but it's actually very reasonable for what it does. And I do not create, I don't write any content, okay? Article Forge creates the content for me. When you come in here, you just click new article. You enter in your keyword here. You say how long you want it to be. Um, I like to do either long or very long articles because that's what the search engines like. 
and then it'll add the titles, the section headings. You can, I usually like to have it add an image, add a video, and then just click create new article. In about five minutes, it'll spit out a 1500 word article. And so that's what I've been doing. I just, you know, I go to um, a site called Answer the Public. Answer the Public is where you can find out what are common questions that people are searching for on Google. That's where I get my keywords. That's I put my keyword in here. And then Article Forge writes the article. I add it and I add it to my blog. And that is it. So uh, I hope you found this helpful. I'll try to do some regular updates as I go along, as I see more results and uh, hopefully inspire you to keep going as well. Uh, if you have questions about how to start a blog, etc., let me know. Leave a comment. Um, I'll let you know the theme I'm using, different things like that, if that's helpful to you. Um, and if you want to try Article Forge, they do offer a free, free day, I'm sorry, a five-day free trial. So you can give it a try, and you can spit out some content, see what it's like. Now, you do have to maybe edit it a little bit, but to be honest, I don't spend much time editing it because it really does come out very well. All right, thanks so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe so you can get more content as I put it out on my YouTube channel. Have a great day.